thought it was Mega Man. Video game. Mega Man. Yeah. Right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna choke out Matt right in front of him. <laughs> he, he does this act where he like, you know, his condition, his voice is sounding kind of normal, but when he's around his friend, he's like, hey! I like Sonic the Hedgehog! <laughs> I'm like, oh boy, they, here we go again. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Dreamcast. Hunt. Uh, big month this month, actually. Surprisingly, I got a lot of things I didn't expect to find, and a lot of goodies. So you're in for a little treat here, and, and some stories to go along with them. Uh, but uh, just to kind of jump into it, uh, Matt was nice enough to kind of look out for some things. Uh, this is one he was kind of surprised at that I didn't find. Uh, we haven't seen it here around Rockford, or uh, even in Madison, or any of the other places that we usually haunt around. So he ended up ordering this from a guy. Uh, he found uh, South, Park, South Park Rally, um, which is just one of the last racing games that I, I kind of need for the system. So that was kind of cool. Uh, along with that, Matt and I had a garage sale locally, and there was a guy who had a bunch of Dreamcast games. Uh, sadly, I had most of them already that he had, and uh, his prices were fairly fairly fair. Um, one thing that I spotted, though, uh, this isn't necessarily something for my collection I was looking for. It's just kind of an extra bonus. Um, but Matt spotted me, and the guy gave us a really good deal on it because he's like, nobody's really going to pick it up anyway because it's not a, it's not really a game per se. Uh, but that's the uh, Game Shark Light. Now this comes in this big DVD case and everything, and I don't remember if originally it came with a memory card with it or not. Um, this one did not have it. Um, he just wanted five dollars for it. I mean, it has the instruction manual and everything inside of it, and I'm not sure if this actually allows to play imports. Um, so, yeah, this one says standard memory card not included, so apparently it didn't come with a memory card, just the Game Shark Lite. So that's kind of cool, little bonus I wasn't really looking for. Another difficult one that's been eluding me for a while, I find loose copies of this with the manual only, but not with the back art. Uh, so I keep passing on it and, and waiting and waiting, and either, it's either you find the disc loose, or it's not complete, or whatever, or it's a really bad shape. Uh, I think I found one too was like really really faded on the art and it had a it had a bunch of like rips and tears through the manual and the disc was in really bad shape too and the fact that I want to go through and play all these that wasn't going to do very well but I uh, finally found it and that's Omicron the Nomad Soul by Eidos or Eidos Eidos um, today actually this is one I've been waiting for for almost a week another really odd one that's fairly cheap to find but it doesn't appear on eBay very often, which is really strange. I don't know if there's a lot of copies made or if it was if it's just one that most people end up tossing away. Uh, this is a platforming game where you play as a kangaroo, and that's Cow the Kangaroo. Uh, really strange looking game. Uh, it's just you, you, you typical platformer action type thing, uh, kind of comedy like. Um, so it seems kind of cool. Probably have to jump into that one. Uh, I also did a trade with uh, PC Wizard 13, and you'll find his link below in the description here. PC and I have been talking for a while, um, and I told him months ago that I came across this big uh, lot of sports games. Uh, they weren't worth a whole heck of a lot, and uh, I, I gave him the list of what I was missing, and a lot of those sports games he didn't have. So I said, well, if you can... If you find something, let me know. And he came across and said, I found a game that you're missing. I'm just looking for something of equal value. So I said, well, sure, yeah. I've, I've still got the games from the lot that are sitting here. They're not going anywhere. No one's really put anything in for them. So um, as we were working through that, sadly, I found that one of the games, which was NBA Two Night, which is a fairly uncommon sports game on the Dreamcast, one of the higher ones to kind of get a hold of. Um, unfortunately, that copy was a, re uh, a rental copy, I guess, because when I opened it up to check everything before shipping it to him, the uh, the manual was torn apart. They had taped the side of the manual and taken the front cover and glued it to the jewel case. And I didn't feel comfortable sending that to him, so <laughs> that was really bad. Um, that one's going to become target practice for me. <laughs> 
I'll probably take the disc somewhere. The disc was in great shape, and the back art was all on it, but the manual was just butchered, uh, which was really disappointing. So in return, I said, well, hey, I know a guy in Madison who just got this brand new, uh, a, new a lot of brand new Dreamcast games still factory sealed, uh, and he's got some extra ones that aren't sealed. I'll, I'll pick one now, and I'll, I'll just send it to you. So he, he was cool with that, and I ended up finding another uncommon sports game, um, which you'll have to find that one out if you actually go watch his channel. Uh, I'm going to plug that one, uh, as I'm not going to give away which one it was, but it was actually worth more than the other games that I sent him all together. Uh, in fact, just that one game was probably equal to what he sent me. Uh, I know the, the price that I paid it was equal to what he sent me, and that was Dragon Riders. Um, another really odd one that I'm surprised I haven't really found around here that's not too expensive, but again, it's it's not one you really find often. So. Now into the heavy hitters of the month. And these are doozies. Uh, these were ones that I was really not sure I would ever find until the very end, and we're getting down to the last, what was it, the last uh, four remaining for the whole set. Um, which, if you've been watching this, you pretty much know which ones I do and do not have. But the guy on Facebook had one of these, and it was at a really good price. Uh, it was uh, under a hundred bucks, <laughs> and this is one that I was freaking out about because I, I have a hard time paying a, a high price for these Dreamcast games. I just I don't see the point when I when I'm going to be any you know playing these. So I try to get the best deals possible. Well, this one I, I kind of leaned on it because I hadn't seen it that low of a price even on eBay or through anything else, and that is Cannon Spike. Which is actually a really fun uh, shoot 'em up. Um, takes kind of a, a different plane. You have the ability to kind of move around the entire screen, and uh, you have secret characters such as Mega Man and uh, BB Hood uh, in the game too, which was kind of cool. So uh, Matt was a little surprised. Him and I sat and played it one night for for an hour or two, and he was a little upset because he didn't realize Mega Man was in the game. And it's the classic Mega Man. It's not like the new iterations or Mega Man Legends. It's the classic Blue Bomber. Um, so that kind of threw him off on that. So of course he had to play as Mega Man through most of the time that we played. But it's a pretty fun game. Um, I would say it's probably worth the high price for sure. Uh, would I say go for it? Again, that's that's iffy. Um, it's a real tough one. It's definitely worth the price point, but at the same time, I don't believe games themselves are really worth to be over the one hundred dollar price mark in any of this. That's just a personal opinion. Uh, the last one for this month, uh, as I mentioned before, there was a guy in Madison who got a lot of brand new Dreamcast games. While I picked up the one for PC Wizard, he had a lot of the top games uh, sitting there uh, that were still factory sealed. And uh, I kind of jumped the gun, and and uh, the price he was asking for, again, was over the $100 price point, which for a brand new sealed game, that, that's usually average. So I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll make a deal, I'll come back, and uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do. So I made some sacrifices. I ended up trading him five Sega Saturn games that were mostly uncommon, including Super High Glide, from, which is an Atlas game, surprisingly, uh, which is a horrible game. I mean, it was bad. I, I, yeah, it's really hard to find on the Saturn, but it was not, not worth keeping around for that. Uh, I also sacrificed, I think, Night Warrior 2. Um, I had an extra copy of Night Warriors Complete, and I don't remember the other one. Uh, and then I also turned around and I gave up my copy of V for the Sega CD, which is a working designs game and also very difficult to come across for the Sega CD. It's not worth a whole lot, but it's one of those more sought-after games on the lesser end of the working designs collection. It was not a good game either. Um, I was really disappointed by it. Um, I got it for a really good deal at a convention, and uh, I sat down and tried to play it, and I, I couldn't make it through it. The opening scene really turned me off, and I just I lost interest in the game, and I never picked it up, so it kind of sat on my shelf. So, anyway, with those five games, which were worth quite a bit on the uh, on the sell uh, by themselves, and then I ended up paying about forty five dollars in cash for it, which for me was pretty good. Uh, and I ended up getting a sealed copy of Giga Wing 2. 
which I'm excited because I really want to play this one, but I'm holding off because uh, come September I will be, um, as I've said before, opening all of my sealed games on Twitch and playing the crap out of them. Um, because I really don't believe in having, you can listen to the crap even, shiny. Um, I don't believe in having sealed games laying around the house if I'm not going to play them, and so these will be torn open to the dismay of some people and probably to the excitement of some. Uh, that was also part of the deal that um, the seller gave me. He said, you know, I'm, I'm not going to sell this to you if you're just going to have it sit on a shelf. If you can tell me, look me in the eye that you're going to open this, I'll make the deal. So I, I honestly said it, it will be opened. So <laughs> that's part of the deal. But uh, yeah, good stuff. That leaves me with just two remaining Dreamcast games. Uh, those, I'm really not sure. Uh, again, these are kind of two games, well, The Mars Matrix and Tech Romancer. I've come across the conventions, and they seem to be rising in price. So that's kind of a challenge, uh, and also finding them, because these aren't games that I see in the wild either, and people are pretty reluctant to let them go. Uh, so this will be interesting. But um, anyway, really, that's... That's about it for this month as far as Dreamcast goes. Um, I still haven't decided what I'm doing afterwards when I finish this. Um, I hope that by the end of next month that this will be complete. Uh, I will be doing a Twitch stream on September 9th, no matter what, if, if, if I don't finish it or whatever. Um, look for my link for then. I'll probably have an advertisement here on, on YouTube. And come by. Just hang out with me. See some of the games. Um, I'm going to try to uh, boost the visuals a little bit. I'm going to get a new uh, new capture card for my PC and uh, see how it works. So, but yeah, that's it. Um, as always, thanks guys for watching and we'll see you next time.